Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Gel creative team, and I'm here today to show you some simple cards using our great basic white note cards and envelopes. I love these so much. They're just kind of a smaller sized card. They measure three and a half by five when they're fully like the card front. And they come with envelopes already. So you get these all in a pack together. I think this is a great starter thing if you are new to stamping or if you wanna make a bunch of cards very quickly. I also like the size of these cards. They're a little bit smaller, so if you don't have a lot to say, it doesn't take up as much space, which is great. Um, so we're gonna use those. And then I also rediscovered the All Things Fabulous stamp set from the annual catalog. This is a photopolymer stamp set where you build your flowers and you can make them look super dynamic. I also discovered when I opened up this stamp set that Stampin' Up! has done us this huge favor by showing us which items go together. So they've put these little, um, they show you which side is up and they show you which ones pair together. So these ones are all labeled one, one A, one B, one C, and they're all pointing, there's a little arrow pointing up this way, and they do that for all the stamps in there that are maybe kind of confusing or you're not quite sure how to line them up. They've got a really great idea with this one. It helped me a lot in creating. I wanted to show you how to take a basic white card base from this pack and using post-it notes, create some beautiful cards using just stamps, ink, and paper. Post-it notes we usually have just around our office. You probably have them around your house too. They're so useful in stamping because they've got that little bit of a temporary adhesive. You can put them down, we call it masking, to mask the ink so it doesn't get on other parts of your paper you don't want it to. So I'm going to take this post-it note. I've cut it down to one inch. I'm gonna take my card base and I'm gonna line it up right here on the edge of my grid paper. You could also use your trimmer or you could use a ruler to do this, but grid paper is nice because it has it on both ends, so I know it's really straight. And I'm gonna put this right between the two and three, just as straight as I can get it, and adhere that down. I've cut two because my card's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna line it up here and put that down too. So my plan is to create a spot for my sentiment amid all of the stamping that I wanna do on this card. I'm gonna take my stamp. The color combination I'm using for these flowers is petal pink. That's what this bottom um, layer is, is petal pink. And then I'm gonna move it a little bit, maybe make it a little higher, stamp that. Stamp that. And then I'm gonna do the bottom two. Just like that. Now this bottom is in petal pink. Hopefully you're getting the idea here. I'm going to create a little space so that I can put my sentiment in the middle. Just like that. Now my middle layer is Blushing Bride. Okay, so the swirl of the middle of the flower is where you're gonna line up to make your stamp match for the different layers. So all the whites in the middle are going to stay the same. So my second layer is Blushing Bright. My third layer is Rococo Rose. So you'll notice I'm getting gradually darker as the flower is um, nearing the middle. And again, I'm gonna line up those swirls so that the white spots in the middle of the flower stay white and the ink is resisting from the middle using that post-it, that masking technique. So let me take this off and show you here. I've got my white spot, so I can put my sentiment in the middle. Let me show you the finished card. You make the flowers smell sweeter and the sun shine brighter. I really like the sayings in the stamp set. They're very, very sweet. So I just filled in a little bit with Old Olive for the leaves. And I left my mask on there while I did that so that it looked like they were coming out of the different spots. Really cute. Let me show you this card. The leaves I wanted coming from behind the flowers. So let me show you how I've done that. I, again, put a little bit of a mask down here at the bottom so that my flowers would come up right to the part where I was putting my sentiment. 
And then let me show you what I did to cover up my flower. So you would stamp your flower again in the different layers so that you get that look. And then take a piece of your post-it note, stamp your stamp on that directly and trim it out so it fits right on top of your flower, just like that. And then you would take your little leaves and add them. And in this stamp set, there's three different leaves that come off so you can get a really dynamic and different look. I thought it was really cute. Just like that. Add one more down here just to complete the look. And voila! You have your flower with your leaves behind it, masked behind it. Just like this card here, you can see. Love it. Okay, so let me show you again all of the creations that I made with this stamp set. I started really simple with this one. I loved the blue. I know you're gonna ask, so let me tell you. My blue colors that I used, the first one is Balmy Blue, second is Seaside Spray, and then third I added Night of Navy because I really like that pop of color. I thought that was so pretty. So I didn't use any post-its on this card. I just did really simple stamping. And don't forget to decorate your envelope as well. This was the second one I made. Just use that post-it right in the middle. Cute. And then this was my final one that was a little bit more of a stepped up version with putting the post-it over the top of the flowers as well as down here at the bottom. I have loved working with this stamp set. Sometimes I forget we can make really simple, beautiful cards using just a quick little technique. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have questions, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.